How's it going boys, girls, and squirrels? We're back watching Black Butler. Last couple of episodes went unbelievably hard, uh, and they weren't even technically canon. So now we're back. We're back in the real canon, the real manga-themed continuity, and I'm excited. I'm excited to see if it comes back swinging, if it's gonna, like, one-up the previous batch of episodes, because if not, that would be kind of hilarious. It'd be kind of funny for just before they start going back to manga canon, the writers and animators of this series were like, you know, let's let, let, let's show them what we got real quick. Because it was genuinely good. For this show's standards, it brought the bar up a smidgen. Just a, just a little smidgen is all it takes. So let's see what you got, Black Butler manga. This fellow is the child of craziness and laziness. Oh, not the child of craziness and laziness. This kid must have been crazy lazy. This kid ain't doing shit. And you still haven't caught this criminal? Explain! I haven't, and I'm sorry, Sir Arthur. When Jack the Ripper slipped through our hands. Oh, he's memeing on you. I don't know what everybody's so worked up about. This is clearly a prank. And a prank that kills 20 people is still just a prank and should be treated as such. Jokes aside, though, I do think it's Sebastian. Sebastian or Grell. Who else in this show is sassy enough to make their call sign a little cat tongue sticking out at you like, hmm? That rat got all the credit. Okay, if you're a detective, probably shouldn't worry about credit. I feel like if you're more concerned about getting credit than stopping murders, you should really rethink your position as police chief. And he's still only a child. A child? So all the victims had just returned home from India then. Oh my god, speak of the literal devil. CL is so obnoxious. Look at him breathing over this cop's shoulder like, mind if I solve this one? The child of craziness and laziness. This man does have a way with words, doesn't he? Yeah, what a poet. Maybe it's William Shakespeare. Has anybody questioned that guy yet? I mean, at the very least, maybe he can help us decipher such subtle and nuanced writing. Still, I don't like this mark. Why? Is it because he's memeing on you? Ah, oh, I imagine that would be the reason I was called in. Most of the Indians who've come here illegally are staying in the criminal neighborhoods of the East End. Oh god, where is this going? What incredibly racist direction is this headed in? Why are all the Indians in England living in Crimesville? Maybe that's historical. I have no idea. But you know what? I trust this show to... <laughs> Like no, like, no, I don't. Why am I even going to finish this bit? I trust, I trust, I trust this show to handle whatever happens next with the tact and dignity that it deserves. That hurt. Ah, oh, you fiend. I've cracked a rib. I might die from this. Yeah, what happened? What a terrible injury. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Come on, guys. <laughs> Come on here. The accents are no longer funny. We, we can no longer joke about the accents. Okay, everybody. Who's, hey, who's ready for a brand new segment I've been meaning to introduce called Danny doesn't make any comments or jokes until the Indians go away. Damn it. That also kind of accidentally ended up sounding racist. Listen, boy, you are outnumbered. Everybody within a mile of here hates you English dogs. Did he hurt you at all, young master? I mean, it hurt my feelings. People have tracked your filth all over our homeland. How about we show you the humiliation of being robbed, eh? Excuse me. I am looking for this Indian woman. <laughs> oh, that's not what he sounds like. Come on. <laughs> I heard that wrong. <laughs> CL, why do you just go completely limp anytime somebody puts you in danger? CL has all of the self-preservation instincts of a fucking bowling pin. He looked like a like a Russian nesting doll just then. Reckless savage who will attack anyone who merely walks by you? What? Tell me, man, did you attack this child here for no good reason? There is absolutely no chance this is an actual Indian voice actor, right? Who voices these two main Indian guys? Oh my god, they are so white. One of them is just straight up the lead singer of Nickelback. That's never who you want voicing an Indian. Oh my god, wait, it looks like they actually have an Indian woman voicing an Indian character in this. Way to go, guys. Good job. Excuse you! Back home, if someone does you a favor, you offer them hospitality. Is it the British practice to leave your savior out in the cold? 
I don't know, that sounds pretty Victorian England to me. Although to be fair, everything I know about Victorian England comes from Scrooge. McDuck. Yes, we were able to leave the guard dog watching the mansion. Ah, it should be all right then. <laughs> This poor weird creature that nobody loves or wants. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't love or want him either, but I do feel bad that Pluto just keeps either getting like tossed aside or completely abandoned. I shall fill that role. Bach, Chacon, and D minor? There's no way I can play something this complex. You call that complex? How about you give hot crossed buns a whirl? Box for pussies. You put a trombone in these hands and I can play you a mean three blind mice. For anyone who doesn't fully get that joke, um, it's the fact that I can play two songs on trombone and they are one song. I just want to make sure everybody's included in that joke. You know, I wanted to, I wanted to toss a little extra bonus treat for the musically literate out there, but I figure, you know, why, why not make sure everybody's involved? She is the goddess Kali. A goddess of India? Kali is the wife of the god Shiva. She is also the goddess of power. Here she is again. Wow, you just had that on you, did you? I mean, who doesn't carry around a three foot wide poster of the goddess Shiva in their wallet? According to our faith, a demon once foolishly challenged her. Naturally, she was victorious. I mean, who doesn't carry around a second three foot wide poster to complement the lore of their first one? My man must have the fattest wallet. Honestly, when are you going to be done with all this? Yon, what are you even doing anyway? Don't lay like that. You look like a teenage girl at a slumber party. This dude looks like the gossipiest bitch right now. If you need attention so badly, why not give fencing a try? Aha, uh -huh. and if I win, you will go out on the town with me. If you can beat me. See, you couldn't beat a hard-boiled egg in a wheelchair. What are you talking about? You get full body paralysis anytime somebody even looks at you threateningly. I'm surprised you're even holding a sword right now. Hey, what the? A strike like that will accomplish nothing for you. Except for the fact that he just technically cut your foot off. I don't know the rules of fencing, but I feel like a strike is a strike once you get a real sword in your hand. I am curious. Very well, I will allow you to duel. Fight him, and in the name of Kali, make sure you do not lose. This guy's gotta be a demigod or something, right? Like, there's no way this would even be a competition unless this guy wasn't human. <laughs> Sebastian, I've seen you chase down a car on foot and spit out bullets that were shot into you. Why, why are we pretending like this guy's any match for you right now? Why is this guy a literal perfect match for you right now? I'll take care of the cooking tonight. You just stay out of trouble. I beg your pardon? I was planning on making something tasty for our guests. Oh, you were planning on making something tasty? Oh, in that case, you can cook. <laughs> Sorry about that. I thought you were planning on cooking dog shit tonight. Chef? Chef? Really? Are you talking to me? Yes. <laughs> That's me. Are you not the chef? How are you gonna throw a fit about not being allowed to cook and then be like, oh my God, <laughs> you, you think I'm a chef? God, that's so flattering. You would think with how smug Ciel is, he wouldn't have hired the most insecure staff in the entire world. I'm afraid I'm not accustomed to English cooking. Not accustomed to English cooking? What's the matter, you don't know how to make beans and toast? I'm, uh, I'm sorry, Tom. Apology rejected. <laughs> That was a nasty fall. Are you alright? Yeah, but her vagina ain't. This girl just became a Six Flags water park below the belt. And I know that because I just became one of the flagpoles. Perhaps it would be best if you were to take the plates down one at a time. Yes, I think you're right. How is it coming along, Agni? Oh, something's coming along alright. With everyone's help, I'm sure it will be delicious. How did you find ways for this lot to help out? Sebastian, do you hire these guys solely based on comic relief? Like, shouldn't you expect them to be able to do jobs? No wonder none of them have any confidence. Sebastian's constantly just walking up to them like, here you go, take care of this cake. Yeah, sure, of course. And, uh, you know, then what do you want me to do? I don't know, go to bed? 
I expect taking care of the cake will last your entire 11 hour shift. They say you are a man with the strength of a beast. I have been intrigued. Super weird of the prince to cancel this execution because the criminal was like strong. Him being physically strong is probably what got him there in the first place. Probably committed a bunch of strength based crimes. My desire is that all his dreams come true. If you ask me, the gods are a bunch of good for nothings we should leave behind. Gotta love this guy opening up about his incredibly emotional and vulnerable backstory and Sebastian ignoring every detail that doesn't directly relate to himself. Now, my lord, play nice. I am searching for a woman. This is her, Mina. Why has nobody made fun of this drawing yet? This is the second time he's just whipped out this Invader Zim fan doodle, and it has been taken completely seriously both times. That is right. I will stop at nothing to bring her back. Seems like a lot of fuss to make over a servant. No, it isn't! Is the L ever gonna, like, learn or grow or get punished or something? Like, if this series ended with his three servants just tearing him apart and eating him, I would consider that an earned and satisfying conclusion. Good evening, Prince. Even you should know how to play old maid. Ciel doesn't know how to interact with other human beings. Dude just rolled up out of nowhere like he's Geralt looking for a game of Gwent. How about a few rounds of cards? Gwent specifically. Like he talks to everybody as if they're babysitting him. Luckily for you, my nappy isn't until eight. I've already taken my bath and my baba is in the microwave as we speak. Very sorry, I already have plans. <laughs> Unlike you, I am a busy man. Come Agni, we are going out. That was beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry, CL. Does it turn out that you actually suck and nobody likes spending time with you? That ruled. That went so hard. <laughs> if you don't get the proper amount of sleep, you will never grow up, kid. Good night. Yo, it's about... Fucking time! This guy rules! This show 100% turned me around on this character. Do I cringe every time I hear him speak? Absolutely. This dude just told CL off, and that, that makes him A-OK -okay in my book. The only thing that would genuinely make this character better, that would bring him from a 9 out of 10 straight up to like a 15, is if he was subscribed to my Patreon. Because that would be sick. He would be getting so much bonus content not found anywhere else, including an exclusive reaction video each month. He would also get access to my private Discord server and get to chat with me and other members of this lovely little community. On top of that, on top of all of that, he would have access to all the live stream recordings I've done in the past and will do in the future. Can I just say that for the past couple of videos, every time I get to the Patreon segment, my brain has had to do some like panic gymnastics to figure out how to make it like a little more engaging than usual because you, got, you guys really respond to that, which I appreciate and I like and I'm willing to put in the effort, the, 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 the extra effort, not, not editing it because you guys deserve to see that. So anyway, if you guys wanna see me react to shows like Blue Lock, Food Wars, end of list, but I have some bonus videos up there. Oh, like lost videos are up there now, like Spy Family season two, video one. Um, some other ones are gonna go up there. Make sure you check out my Patreon in the description below. It helps out a ton. On in the next one. Young master. God, Sebastian, you fucking vampire. Just go inside the room. Oh wait, that's right, I forgot. You have to be invited in first. Why not relax with a nice scotch? An excellent one from Justerini and Brooks. They hold the royal warrant, you know. Oh my god, scotch! Everyone's been drinking so much damn tea in this show, I forgot that other beverages existed. That's what this is? If I carry out the plan as promised, then Mina- <laughs> Mina! What the? Nice, great intel gathering, buddy. Wait 30 seconds and you probably would have had the answer to your question. This intrusive young man is your master. <laughs> and you are the man who took Mina away! Get him! Do you hear me? Yeah, Agni, get him. What's wrong, dude? Why aren't you getting him? I don't understand. You're acting like that's a super vague order only a child would give. Let's grab that idiot prince and get out of here right now. But West will recognize you as soon as you walk in. This Chinese guy needs a subplot 
so fast because so far, he has not at all proven his value in this show for me. Every time he shows up, my brain's just like, oh yeah, that's right, you exist. Agni? Oh my God, the fucking wind up on that slap. Dude's about to slap him so hard his elbow turned into rubber. Hey, yeah, I noticed. Thanks, I thought he was a dog with antlers. I'm glad we cleared that up twice. I've come for the prince. <laughs> He's a foreign spy. Get him. Hmm? No, I'm simply one hell of a deer. Kill him. First off, I love that Sebastian is now one hell of a deer. In that case, I'm considering this a transformation. This is now Sebastian's new form. From now on, I want to see people power scaling different levels of Super Saiyan against Deer Form Sebastian. Second, I can't believe this is the first time somebody has responded to his one hell of a butler joke with the phrase kill him. Considering he says it in nearly every interaction, I'd have thought people would have been more sick of it by now. Hell, this is the second time somebody's interrupted him during it. By season three, he's gonna be like, well, you see, I'm simply- SHUT IT! <laughs> How are you bleeding? Nobody touched you. I vowed that I'd never swing my fist for anyone but him. I am guilty of betraying that vow. How and why are you crying blood? Agni! <laughs> Yup, just a, just a regular human, all right. There's just some, some real average Joe behavior going on right here. Hey, we're drawing too much attention. Grab the kid and get out of here, Sebastian. Thanks, CL. I appreciate you keeping things discreet. This fellow is no ordinary human being. It is a mental technique he uses called Samadhi. When he gets like that, no one can touch him. Never heard of it. Oh, what? Really? That's crazy. I mean, you're, you're just such a, such a scholar of multicultural martial arts. Why would he do it? Why do the people close to me always leave? <laughs> Relax, CL. Don't freak out about the tea. CL's over here fucking flabbergasted right now. Kids flabbers are gasting up a storm over this. Time to face facts. Nobody ever loved you. Have they not? That's enough of that. Master. Who knows, I easily could have ended up the same way as him. Have you not? Is the implication here that people love you, CL? Because news flash. As long as there's so much as a thread left to me, or use it to climb, I'll take hold of it and refuse to give up. Yes, yeah, CL, you're so underprivileged. You really had to scrounge to the top with your billion dollar mansion and your demon butler at your beck and call. God, what a, what a beautiful rags to riches story you have. What a timeless tale. I am 17, but you're right. Compared to you, I am still only a child. I am nothing more than a spoiled brat. Is the implication that CL is not a spoiled brat? Breaking news, CL! The connection is the curry. It's the specialty at West's coffee house. If he obtains a royal warrant for his curry, his sales are sure to increase dramatically. This whole mass murder was to raise a coffee house's curry sales? What did the Scooby-Doo writers take over for this episode? I could raise your coffee house sales in like a fourth of the murders. He may indeed have left, but everything he does is still for you, no one else. Agni lives only for you. He is a fine butler. Damn, but he's no hell of a butler, huh, Sebastian? Scathing remarks coming from Sebastian here. Especially considering that like two episodes ago, he awarded a puppet one hell of a butler. You're right. This is my problem. I need to be strong and find a way to handle it on my own. Is the implication that CL is often strong and finds ways to handle his problems on his own? Man, it sure is a busy news week. If I couldn't make a good curry for my master, and what kind of a butler would I be? God, I can't wait for this show to turn into food wars the second this curry challenge starts. I wouldn't put it past this show. It's definitely horny enough. It sounds like a challenge. You, uh, you made all of these curries by yourself, huh? Yes. You want this guy to eat all of these curries in one sitting? So it's gonna be shitting liquid for weeks. The only ones left are third-rate brands I've never heard of before. And some company that makes children's toys. The Funtum Company. Oh my god, it's Funtum? I thought it was the Phantom Company. 
You're telling me it's a pun? That's so funny because it implies that their company prioritizes in fun. I've never seen CL sit in on a single board meeting that discusses the ethics and profitability of fun. Have you concocted a curry better than Ogni's yet? No. According to Prince Soma, something is still lacking. God damn it, his name is even Soma. It really is turning into food wars. You have more important things to do. Yes, I understand, my lord. And anyway, I'm not really in the mood for chocolate right now. Drop it into the curry or something. I swear to God, if that's what wins this fucking competition, if CL's accidental contribution to the curry wins the cook-off, uh, my fury will know no bounds. He doesn't deserve the credit. It'll only make him worse. But because I was born into a lower caste, I was forever doomed to be a servant. I don't want to spend my whole life trapped by the caste system. Oof, wasn't expecting this caste system commentary to make its way into the show, but... <laughs> All right, go off. Mina and I came to an agreement. If I obeyed West, she would reveal nothing of her true feelings to the prince. He can't know the truth. Whoopsie, a little late for that, but, you know, I'm sure you'll get over it. <clears throat> I'll never win with this, Will. Who the hell is this? If you think I'm invested at all about this goddamn curry cook-off, then I'm gonna have to recommend you guys tune in to the 6 o'clock news. <sighs> Why are you here rigging curry competitions? What the hell is going on? Her Majesty. Why can't I see her face? What could the reveal possibly be? Is it Elizabeth? Because no, it isn't. What, is it gonna turn out to be like just a photo of Meryl Streep? Like what, what could this reveal possibly end up being? And that is episodes 13 and 14 of Black Butler. They're fine, they're okay. Um, I wasn't as jazzed about these as I was the previous two episodes, but it's like setting up this curry nonsense, I guess. Maybe it'll pay off in the next episode. What a, like why? Like what is this? You know, why this curry cook off? This is ridiculous. It got a little dicey with the Indian stuff, for sure. Um, I guess we've moved past that, though. But as always, let me know in the comments what you thought of these episodes. Uh, let me know what your favorite jokes from this video were as well. And I will see you guys next time.